Hi y'all, it's Ian Madison. Did you miss me? I know you missed me. So today y'all, I haven't posted a video in a long time, so I figured today's the day. I'm just gonna make a video. So I'm here with Banyana, and okay, what is something that I'm very passionate about, if you know anything about me, besides my cat and my dog and food? <laughs> I am an avid thrifter, let me tell you what. So, as I usually do, I was strolling along in a thrift store today because, well, I was actually there. One of my friends just got a job uh, working from home and she needs a desk. So I was just like, I'll, it's an excuse to go to the thrift store. So I'll go look for a desk for her. But as I was shopping, I saw one of these bad boys, an Instapot. Okay. First of all, I don't even have room for this giant beast in my shoebox apartment, but <laughs> I decided to get it anyways. This thing was 20 bucks and I looked up the retail price and they're like 200 bucks or something obnoxious like that. And <laughs> I ain't paying no $200 for a pot when I got pots in my kitchen. But you know, I figured $20 is kind of worth the hype worth the hype, worth a try to see what all the hype is about. So I got this Instapot, it's like the Instapot Max. I don't know <laughs> what we're gonna make today. I have an idea of things that I already have in my house, but I'm not gonna like go out and buy groceries to put anything in here with. So the first thing I need to do is get this cat off of here, this spoiled cat Oh my baby, I love you. You, you, oh, you don't mind this, my banana. Do you ever just like love your animals so much where it's just like, <sighs> it's intense? Yeah, that's my boy. Oh, isn't he the most cute? I did look up a recipe on Instapot Soup, just to, you know, see, see what's going on. And the very first ingredient that this lady told me to chop up was celery and I was like, boop, exit, X, control, delete, I'll see you later. I put celery in my soup. Ugh. So, that being said, <laughs> I don't exactly know what we're doing here. But I do know that these have saute functions and they cook things very quickly. So, let me that right there and get out all of the ingredients that we're gonna use today. I'm just gonna dig through what I have. I got a potato and an onion. Here's a serrano pepper. Should we put a serrano pepper in there and make it kind of spicy? Oh, you know what else? Coconut cream. Yes, ma'am. I have frozen corn and this is really what I wanted to use in the Instant Pot today. So I'm thinking like a corn chowder with the coconut cream and then I've got a red bell pepper we can add that oh carrots we got a big old carrot what's up doc we'll put that in there and some green onions these are on their last days they need to be eaten cilantro <laughs> yes ma'am okay Oh, yum. Look at all of this. I think this will make a delightful soup, don't you? Oh, better than bouillon, no chicken base. And then this is like some squeezed garlic because I am getting super lazy <laughs> lately and just getting chopped garlic instead of fresh garlic. And I've never been like that except for recently. Tisk tisk. Is there anything else we should add? I don't know, this looks good to me. I think we'll start here, just as a starter soup, just to kind of get my feet on the ground. Let's see how it goes. I'm gonna chop up all these vegetables and get them all prepped and I'll be right back. Okay, am I ready? I don't know. I think I'm ready. Let's let's give it a shot. I know that you can do this fancy thing with the Instant Pot. Put up the lid like that. Okay, um, press this. We need to go to saute because we're gonna cook up some onions. 30 minutes, 30 minutes saute? No, I'll tell you when I'm done. Why do I have to give you a time? I don't know. 10 minutes. 
I don't like that she's already trying to give me a time on how long I need to saute something. Let me put some butter in there. I was gonna put some oil, but I was like, you know what, let's put some Hana bottles in there, you know? Mm. Wake up. Start. Oh, okay. I guess I have to press on again. I thought I already did that, maybe not. <gasps> Do I hear something? It's getting warm. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> I'm an Instant Pot Pro. At some point, I'm gonna be adding in this coconut cream. You can add in coconut milk, but coconut cream is just so good <laughs> and so divine and so decadent and rich. And I think it's worth it to get the coconut cream over the coconut milk. And it adds, um, it creates an extra level of creaminess to whatever you're cooking as well. So I always recommend coconut cream. Coconut milk is fine. I use it all the time also if it's what I have. But I'm just saying that coconut cream eh, is gene. Okay, I'm going to throw in my whole white onion. So onions are done cooking. We're going to add in a substantial amount of garlic. Let's add in some of these veggies, yum, yum, yum. Carrots and bell pepper going in. And now we're gonna add in some potatoes. And now let's add in some frozen corn. Okay, so what now? All right, so this is the Better Than Bouillon No Chicken Base. If you don't have this in your life, I don't know what you're doing. You need to get the No Chicken Base, not the Chicken Base because we don't fuck around with that, the no chicken base, okay? This is two cups. I didn't know how much liquid to add. So, let me see. Let me add the coconut cream and then we'll see if we need to add some more liquid. I don't know, it's looking pretty thick. I think we're gonna keep it at this. So that's two cups of the Better Than Bouillon No Chicken Base. A can of coconut cream. And then we're gonna add in some diced green onion and some cilantro that I just broke apart because I really like cilantro and the stems because it has a lot of flavor. Lots and lots of flavor in there. Okay, spices. Some oregano. Okay, so oregano, I have some Spanish paprika, some black pepper, some ground thyme, salt. I also pulled out some nutritional yeast. I'm gonna throw it in there just because I love me some nutritional yeast. So maybe like about a fourth a cup. We'll see. What's happening? Cancel this. Oh, that's the time. That's not the time. Is that the time? Okay, so we need to press soup. Soup. Eight minutes? Sure. Start on. That it? Are you gonna tell me when you're done? Oh, okay, it's preheating right here. Give me some yummy soup. Okay, I'm so excited. Oh my goodness gracious me. <laughs> I sat here for 20 minutes waiting for this thing to preheat and then to start cooking. And I accidentally went like this to like move it over to look at it, and then I pressed cancel on accident so i just had to wait here almost another 20 minutes for this thing to preheat and now it's cooking it just started cooking at seven minutes i'm honestly like really annoyed oh i put the little rice cooker cup on top of here <laughs> i don't know because i don't know the little the little picture i had a, like a little plastic cup that fit right over the valve who knows if i'm probably breaking it but I just really don't like that I can't see what's going on in there. I don't like that I'm not able to like visualize and see what's happening with what I'm cooking. I'm giving up control and I don't like it. Oh, oh, <laughs> I just realized I set this thing for seven hours. Seven hours. <laughs> Okay, okay, all right, all right. I'm sorry, Instapot. Let me give you a break here. 
No, I don't want any hours. Okay, no hours. I just want minutes. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're gonna do six minutes because that thing's been in there for a while. Oh, I feel so bad. Oh my God, now it's gonna go to preheating again? I'm not having a good time with this Instapot thing. Oh. Okay, okay, so this thing finally preheated and it's cooking for six minutes. So this is taking forever and I don't like that I can't see what's going on in the pot. So after the six minutes is up, we'll come back and see what's going on. All right, so the timer went off, cancel off. I push this to like release some of the pressure. Ooh, will it let me open? There's a little red dot on here that's like, uh, no, you may not enter. You shall not pass. Let it out, baby. Let's open her up. Always open lids of hot food, hot pots, with the top of the lid facing you, right? So the steam will go that way, away from your face. Okay, pop it in there like this. Oh, ooh, it looks That looks really, really good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my immersion blender together. Let me taste it first, actually. Taste it first, but let me test the potatoes. I'm sure they're soft. Oh yeah, they're great. Okay, and let me taste the broth. Oh my gosh. <laughs> mm. Oh, yum. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pop in the immersion blender and I'm only going to blend about a third of the soup. All right, y'all. <laughs> I have to do this. The last thing I'm gonna add is some Daya cheese. You know what, let's just add it. I'm gonna add the rest of this day of cheese in there and mix it up and make it really creamy. <laughs> oh. Yum, let's give this a taste. Mmm. Delightful. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It's so delicious. Wow. Mmm. And I got some white bread and some water. Mmm. I know it's not good for you, like, at all, but how amazing is white bread? I mean, honestly. Don't get me wrong, I love whole wheat bread, whole grain, yummy goodness. It's amazing, it's delicious, but this melt in your mouth white bread is so good. Mmm. Yummy, yummy. I'm sitting on my floor right now, so I'm sorry if the angle is a little weird. What are you getting into? Banana's getting into the bag.
Mm. What a treat. Oh. Mm. Now one of those like reusable grocery bags, you know? Bananas just like sitting entirely in it. So, you know what would be so good on this soup is some um, of those like fake bacon bits. That would be so yummy. So I haven't uploaded in a very long time. I'm trying to think of like what's been going on. Oh, the latest drama is somebody stole our plants, mine and my neighbors, from outside my apartment, which is really weird. Over by my unit and all of the other plants on the other side. like really early in the morning, which is so super strange. I don't know what's going on with that. Why would you still plant? Makes no sense. I have no idea. My goodness, this soup is so good. Mm. Mm. I'm just in heaven. Mm. So they stole like three of my cactus plants that I have, which It's upsetting because those succulents, um, I get when they're like teeny tiny and they only cost like a dollar, right? And they're teeny, teeny, tiny little cactus plants. And they had grown into large cactus well maybe medium sized cactus and um i don't know it's just nice to see them grow and then uh, now they're gone like who would still plant so it's so weird anyway i can't get over how good this soup is That's a big drama with me for right now. I haven't been on YouTube for a long time, which is also another drama, which I think I'll get into in another video. Not quite yet. I just don't, I'm just disappointed with YouTube right now. These guys are running around like crazy. I'll get into it in another video, but I am full. I'm happy. I have to put this soup away. And get it all ready and stored so I can enjoy it later. Whew. Wash it down. And now I'm going to go watch some Survivor. I've been obsessed with that show recently. <clears throat> okay, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Say bye, Kiki. Say bye, Kiki. Say bye, Rina. <laughs> bye.